Hi, everybody. Kevin Rader and Heather Rader, more importantly. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Start with it. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> We're talking about Kevin. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Kevin and Heather Rader and mm, Humphreys Park. Sorry. Hi everybody, Kevin and Heather Rader from Linton, Indiana in Humphreys Park, where you know what? Today it's kind of chilly. There aren't a lot of people out here today, but we're expecting that to change in five months. So together, Kevin and I are hosting only in Indiana Capture Your Fitness 5K Run and Walk, Vendor Fair, Jeep Show, and all kinds of contests. Jeep Show. He's excited. Not that about I don't the like show. the vendor stuff. Right. Jeep show. So there's been a lot of planning, a lot of pre um, decisions that have been kind of going on behind the scenes for the last couple of months. And we finally have the green light to announce this collaboration that we're doing, as well as ways that we're going to bring people, not just from Linton or Greene County, but people from all over the state to Linton. And you know the magic of this, and Heather's done this before. She's done this for several years, had a couple here where she hasn't, but we're going to get back on that horse and ride it this year. And here's <laughs> why. I love this idea. She has come up with the idea that the money raised by the teams that participate in this 5K go to specific entities that they're running for or walking for right so capture fitness was kind of started back in 2014 had a three-year run um kind of put it on the back burner for a few years and kind of tried to rebrand it a little bit and one of the things we're going to have moving forward is is that we want you if you have a business an organization a group a not-for-profit a profit whatever you'd like to do you can actually register your team um, to participate either in person or virtually and then the money actually goes back to your team or into or to rather your designated cause for instance let's give people kind of an example let's say that you're a athletic team in one of the counties in indiana and you decide we want to come out we want to actually register we want to participate in this great event but we want to take the money that we actually bring in as a team and donate it to Big Brothers Big Sisters or maybe a local shop with a cop um, entity. Um, we want people all over the state to participate in this, not just those in Greene County and Linton. And it's going to be a really good way to showcase um, Linton, Indiana. Yeah, we want to bring, it's only in Indiana. It's not mm -hmm. only in Greene County or whatever. It's only in Indiana. Right. So we're going to have Hoosiers here from all over the state of Indiana. Hence, which is why we've already announced, uh, big news about one of the vendors that's coming. We are. We actually have Chick-fil-A that's going to be um, here both Friday and Saturday. Chick-fil-A in a Jeep. <laughs> They're I actually like going to bring their one cow, if not two, costume, and it's actually going to participate in the Kitty Fun Run. Yeah, you're going to have mascots. With we're we're going to have mascots. We're asking all of you that if you are a school, if you are a business, if you are a nonprofit and you have a mascot, we want them walking around this park with the kids. We want them being out, able to go out and have photo ops with those that are attending. Um, we've got a number of other things that we're doing. We're doing a Jeep show, as Kevin mentioned earlier, and the proceeds from that event are gonna go to the park board and the Linton Farmer's Market. Linton Farmer's Market was great because we don't want to have them depart the park for we the want, event. Yeah, we want, we want that. People, I mean, that's a, that's a fun deal. Here. I love yeah, we doing want, the We want people market. all over the state to come and, and, and yeah. see um, working collaboratively together to be able to kind of do this as a great cause. Now, the week before the race, which is the 27th and 28th, we're going to have a baby contest. We're going to have a little um, miss and mister, and then we're going to have a queen contest. And it's going to be for the title of Only in Indiana LLC. The LLC is really important because that's the we 22nd, are the right? 22nd. Yeah. And it's going to be right behind here at the, the Roy Clark Community Building. Um, but what we're but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have our little miss and little mister and then our queens actually be present for the vendor event on Friday and Saturday to kind of assist with passing out awards and trophies, et cetera, to kind of give them a little bit of royalty kind of all on their own. So that is going to be announced later this week so you can register. Okay, can I throw something out? Yes. Because I'm I'm really kind of excited about this. I come here to Humphreys Park and walk because it's got mm -hmm. a big area that you can walk. Look, 
I'm not going to be able to run anymore. Do, 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 those days are done. <laughs> so, but I will be walking this park. And what we're going to do is start walking now so we can ramp up a little bit. For five get up, months. Get up to the 5K. And look, I know a lot of us because of COVID have kind of shut down a little bit right. and gotten a little, like in my case, a little porky. And so what we want to do is come out and walk and try to see if we can walk some of that off and get ready for the 5K. And you know what? We'd love company. Right. So would. what we'll probably do is try to post times or right. something that will come up. We're going to try to be kind of mindful and plan out a couple of days a week where we hopefully can get lots of you together to come out and join us. You don't have to walk at the same pace. But we want to get kind of in the spirit of this and get people Ramp geared up. up. We know that summer's coming. Everybody's talking about how they've been in their homes for the last year. I know I've cooked a lot more than probably I have in my entire life in I've the eaten past a lot year. More. <laughs> Both of us have. And uh, we'd like to be able to get people out and about and kind of join us. But we also know that if you're in Indy, if you're in Evansville, if you're in Cicero, you're in Bloomington, you might not be able to make it down for a 20 minute walk. So we're going to actually give some challenges over the next five months. And we're going to put them out and we're going to have you take your pictures and post them to kind of let us know who is kind of behind the scenes getting ready for this event. Now, if you're watching right now thinking, why in the world are those two sitting in a car <laughs> making this announcement? <laughs> it's because we drove to Humphreys Park and the wind is it's, so... It's terrible today. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. So I know you're thinking, ah, oh, they could be in... We're at, wherever but we are sitting in Humphreys Park we and, are we are and Roy Clark Community Center is the brown building right, right behind us. there now I also want to mention too that we're gonna have a vendor fair both Friday and Saturday um, we have the Roy Clark Community Building behind us reserved as well as three of the other buildings here in the park we also have one other location here it's in kind of exciting but we're not yeah like we're not to we're not gonna release yet. it yet but as many of you know, I have a gifting group for women, and it's brought together over 6,300 people in the United States. And we're going to have an opportunity for that group to come together and participate in this event as well. So we actually have um, items that we're securing for this tomorrow, and those will be posted. So there's lots of, lots of opportunities. One thing I want to stress, Kevin, if I will, because of the vendor fair, we want to make sure that we have a really good representation of Indiana. So... If you're someone that you are a vendor and you would like the you, you live way up north in Lafayette, we want you to, to join us. And it's going to be kind of as an application process where you're going to have to show pictures of what you do. Um, we're looking for a lot of items that are homemade, um, people that are bringing to kind of together the spirit of Indiana. So it's not necessarily Indiana items versus more so made in Indiana if we can. And then we're also going to have um, spaces available for you to actually rent around the park um, that will be tent required. So you have to have a tent in order to be able to participate in those. Obviously the 5K is the main um, part of the event. So we have, we'll be having the national anthem. We'll be having a color guard here as well. Um, we will have the opportunity for you to buy t-shirts and apparel such as what we're wearing right now. Um, it's not required, but we really want to be able to showcase, um, you know, who's your pride in Indiana pride as well. Only in Indiana, Only in folks, Indiana. coming to a park near you, and uh, all of Indiana is welcome. That's the bottom line. And I think I think a lot of it, too, is, is we want to make sure that, um, you know, we live in Linton. We want to be able to bring people to kind of our hometown right now. And so we just want you to save the date for August 27th and Pencil 28th. On the and then. And walk with us earlier than that if right. you want to. We have lots of information posting on both our Facebook page and our Facebook group starting now. So we hope you can join us. I may start looking at Jeeps. <laughs> Bye, guys.